You have to understand, most of these people are not ready to be unplugged. And many of them are so inert, so hopelessly dependent on the system, that they will fight to protect it. What if all you ever knew was a lie? Well, what do we know at any point? This Matrix scene is absolutely spot on. This isn't real. What is real? How do you define real? If you're talking about what you can feel, what you can smell, taste and see, then real is simply electrical signals interpreted by your brain. The senses are decoding systems, decoding information into a form that the brain can uh, decode. So the senses are taking waveform information, vibrational information, they're turning into electrical information, they are communicating it to the brain, which then decodes that into a sense of reality we call the world we live in. So the world that we think we're living in exists there. The brain is dark but sees light. How is that possible? How can my brain be totally dark and I see this light? Because that light in its prime form, like everything else, is just an information source. And I am decoding that information source in here into the visual reality of light because that's what the information contains. Thus, that's what it manifests when I decode it. This is mainstream science. They talk about dark energy, dark matter. I see that slightly differently, but the principle is the same, what you can see and what you can't see. So you have this massive area of stuff they say exists in this universe, which we can't see. You then have light, electromagnetic spectrum, etc., which is 0.005% of what they say exists in this universe, and visible light, which is the only frequency band that we can decode into a visual reality, is a fraction of the 0.005%. This is the visible spectrum within the electromagnetic spectrum. Look at it, it's tiny, and that's all that we can see in what we call the world. You say to most people, can you see everything in the space you're looking at? Oh yeah, mate. You can't see that much of it. So, this is right. There is no spoon. It's not the spoon that bends, it is only yourself. Because that spoon only exists in that form when you decode it from energetic information. Information is encoded in what we call light. White light contains all the colors of the spectrum. And colors are frequencies. They're just different frequencies, and when we decode them, we see that color. And we, we think those flowers are red and yellow. They're not. Nothing has any color. The color is decided in our perception of it by whether it reflects certain frequencies or whether it absorbs certain frequencies. We're only seeing light that reflects. Thus, we're only seeing that color which is reflected by the object therefore it seems to be that color this is the scale of the illusion that we think is real light radiation is information and the frequency or wavelength vibration is its delivery system the information dictates the frequency and this is this is this is really i think you know one of those whoa moments as the frequency increases the amount of energy carried by the wave also increases in proportion to the frequency so when you open your mind and open your heart your frequency goes up provable fact measurable as your frequency goes up you're now being able to hold and access more and more and more information and thus you become more aware more knowledgeable more insightful more intuitive and uh, Nikola Tesla, the genius from which so much came, he could see beyond the physical that we perceive. And he said, the day science begins to study non-physical phenomena, it will make more progress in one decade than in all the previous centuries of our existence.